If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. John 13, verse 14. On the eve of Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion, he meets with his disciples for what is known as the Last Supper. The event that begins their time together is a microcosm of Jesus' entire life. In the washing of the disciples' feet, Jesus demonstrates once again that life is not all about him and his needs. Life is about the needs of those around him. After washing the disciples' feet, Jesus does a little teaching so that the message of the moment isn't lost. He tells his disciples that just as he has washed their feet, so they also ought to wash one another's feet. There are some churches that have taken Jesus' words literally and turned this foot-washing ceremony into a sacrament of sorts. I don't think that was Jesus' point. Alternatively to that, I believe that Jesus' point was that as a follower of Christ, we walk in his footsteps and reflect his character when we consider the needs of others and look for ways to meet those needs. Is there someone who is discouraged and can use a word of encouragement? Is there someone struggling with everyday needs that can use a helping hand? Is there a person or a ministry that lacks funds that you can contribute to? Is there someone who needs prayer that you can pray for live and in person as well as privately? Jesus humbled himself in washing the feet of the disciples. But that was only a precursor to his humbling self to the point of death, even death on a cross, so that we might be cleansed. When our eyes are open to the needs around us and we ask God to help us see those needs, it's amazing how many people need their feet washed. It's not something that we naturally gravitate to, but when Christ is on the throne of our lives, he helps us to recognize the needs in others and to respond so that others' needs might be met and as a testimony of his spirit at work in our lives. Press on in the Lord.